Good morning. How are you? I'm still here in Lisbon. <laughs> yes. I'm uh, at uh, Marquis Pombal Park Square, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and I'm uh, taking a walk. As you can see, I'm uh, going up. I always wanted to come to this part of the uh, park because I've been to the other side and um, today I decided to come here and have a little conversation. It's a big Burger King right there. And look at the people just relaxing, relaxing, you know, relaxing. <laughs> oh boy, isn't it beautiful? There's a homeless guy there with his stuff walking up. Probably knows where he's going. I don't know. But do I know where I'm going? Well, to be honest with you, I wish I could tell you I knew where I was going. <laughs> because every day it seems like I'm more stranded <laughs> than the day before. Uh, I just heard that uh, President Trump now banned uh, travel for the Europeans. So I left Panama. I passed through Newark, New Jersey, and I came here. So if I want to go back, I can't go. I'm stranded. The coronavirus have me stranded here, man. So, you know, let's put it that way, you know, because uh, in reality, maybe there's other options. But uh, sometime in life, you don't get to choose. <laughs> and... Uh, Morality comes to, will come, will catch up with you eventually. <laughs> so I'm not worried about worrying about morality. I'm trying to worry about living. And I believe that that's more important in life today. You know, we should be more, focus more on living our life. And today, I want to have a conversation about that. So uh, bear with me a minute. As I walk through this beautiful uh, elevation here in Lisbon. One of the things that we have, uh, or we should be thinking about since this uh, coronavirus has uh, presented itself is that we cannot take life for granted <laughs> you know because in life eventually morality will come you know and uh, some people think about morality some people doesn't you know and uh, I can tell you I think more about living than dying so if I die tomorrow so be it, you know. God is great, you know. God permit that he'll give me a good life, continue to get, help me to enjoy my life. And I think that's uh, more important at this time. So I'm not worried too much about the morality part. <laughs> I'm worried more about the surviving part. And I think that's more important. And it should be more important. That should be more important to us that we focus more on uh, surviving our lives. I notice that in places these days, people are panicking. <laughs> They're panicking, you know, uh, like uh, it's the end of the world, the world is coming, the end of the world is coming. Well, who said it's coming? Who says that, you know? 
Uh, are you a Christian? Do you believe that God is ready to clean the earth? Uh, to put a pandemic on, uh, pandemic on the whole uh, world and clean the whole earth? Uh, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, whether you believe that or not, uh, it's possible that one day this can happen, you know, it's possible that uh, one of these days and uh, the earth will clean itself, you know, and uh, we all may perish. But uh, is it this time around or is it next time? It, would it be another pandemic or a pandemic or who knows? Would it start in the United States rather than in China? <laughs> huh? Could we uh, determine that? Could we guess that that's what could happen to us? Well, I can tell you that we may never know, <laughs> you know. In my lifetime, I may know, I may never know, you know. It's something that I'm not thinking about and I'm not worried about. What I'm more concerned about is uh, personal things in my life, you know. I, I worry about living my life and the personal things that, uh, that we have to go through to, to, to deal with our day-to-day -day, uh, living, you know. And that's what I, 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 I'm concerned about, you know. Um, what I, just a few days ago, I was thinking about going to Morocco or Portugal where there's, right now, there's still less uh, cases of that uh, coronavirus. But, you know, I said, okay, you know, I can run away, I can try and, uh, and run away from it, uh, but I don't mean that it won't catch up with me, you know. Uh, I can say, okay, I'm going to Morocco, jump on a, a bus or uh, take a taxi to the airport, and uh, in the airport I can contract it maybe, or in a plane or whatever, so it's not about running away, <laughs> you know, because... I fit the criteria, you know, I'm over 60 years old and so the morality uh, cases uh, is more uh, detrimental to people over 60, so uh, I fit that criteria, you know, so I should be worried, I should be concerned, right? Uh, but am I? Yes, I am, to a certain extent, because we all should be, you know, and uh, and that's why I would say that I would want to have like a big concern that I take care of my um, hygiene, you know, uh, be more uh, careful with what I touch, make sure I wash my hands. And do the normal cautious things that uh, I should be practicing, you know. Uh, and that's that's what I'm concerned about, you know. And and I think that's what most people should be concerned about. You know, I mean, look at nature. Look at this. You know. This is nature. This is life. You know, the trees, the insects, the birds. That's nature. You know, the ground. Look at the grass, you know. Everything serves its purpose in life. And uh, we should be doing the same. We should be serving our purpose in life. And that's what I try to do. I try to serve a purpose in life, okay? <laughs> that's what I'm concerned about and uh, right now I can tell you that I got up this morning <laughs> I'm feeling okay you know even though last night I didn't sleep well I can tell you that I had like a head cold stifling up uh, I don't know what happened I cut my hair and maybe because of the uh, because I cut the hair and I went out in the dew I caught like a head cold so maybe you can hear that on my voice, no? Not too good. <laughs> but um, should I be worried? Yeah. 
maybe because it's uh, the symptoms are sore throat and stuff like that, running nose and that. So I could be infected and I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's the curious thing about this virus. You could be infected and you wouldn't know until maybe a week or two after. So as I speak today, I could be. You know, <laughs> so I don't know. Sometimes we don't know the unknown. You know, Kobe Bryant is dead. <laughs> Couple months months ago, he didn't know he would be dead, but he's dead, you know. And uh, uh, morality comes, man. You know, we don't get the opportunity to choose. You know, we 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 are uh, subject to that confinement that we don't know. We don't get that uh, opportunity to decide. You know, uh, we have our lives in front of us, and once we are living, we are. Uh, we should be living our lives, you know, and concentrating more on living and also have in mind that morality is there in the background, you know, so we can have a, a little, we can be a little concerned about that, but not a whole lot, you know, and uh, the main thing I would say in life is to uh, try and live your life to the fullest, you know, to the best and treat people good, be honest with people, do the things that... Uh, in life that you always wanted to do uh, or accomplish in life uh, but beyond that you know just love 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 you know love those who love you cherish those who comfort you and don't ever forget your parents you know because that's the when I talk about parents and I talk about uh, life like this, I guess a little emotional, no? Because I have not been <laughs> an, a good example uh, as a, a parent or uh, anything like that. So I'm not, you know, standing here today and saying that yes, I've been the best, I've done, but I tried, you know, even. In my life, I try to 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 do what is good. Uh, I realize my mistakes, and I did uh, make mistakes. After uh, I realize I make mistakes, I make them same mistakes again. <laughs> so we are, you know, we are not perfect in life, and uh, this is something that uh, we have to live with, you know, and uh, try to make our lives better by doing the right thing, you know? Trying to do the right thing, that's all we can do. This is nature, folks. This is nature, see? This is nature. You know? Yes. I can walk into nature, see that? Look at the pigeons. They have their own survival skills. They have their own way of life. They are species of this earth that we are living in. They are living among us. And uh, that's, that's, that's life. It could be still. Look at the trees. There's no breeze today. There's no wind. Everything is quiet. Everything is still. And I like coming to these places because it helps me to think, uh, helps me to distress myself, it helps me to get a better sense of, you know, my purpose in life. And I think that uh, we all should, in some way or the other, find a purpose in our lives, you know. We all will go through tribulations, we all will go through hard times. But living and enjoying life should be one of our priorities, you know. A few days ago, like I said, I was all ready to go to Morocco or Turkey. 
because I felt I needed to run away, you know, run away, run away from this coronavirus. Maybe it'll get me, you know, let me get out of here, go to some place where it's, it's less uh, concentrated. But yeah, you know, what do I know, you know? <laughs> If it's not my time, it's not my time. If it's not your time, it's not your time. And in life, that's what it's all about. So, I want to tell you today to those people who are worried about this virus business, yes, you should have concern. You should have concern about this virus stuff because it's a reality. But bear in mind that there are things more important out there that you should be worrying about. Okay? Let me check this video, see if it's not over the time because I don't want to have it <laughs> too much. I think I've spoken, I've talked a lot today and I've, I have a I think it's a reasonable conversation with you. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm all right. Um, God bless. Uh, continue to bless me. And uh, that's all I should think I should really be concerned about right now. You know, should I be scared? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But I'm not, you know, I'm not really scared, you know. Uh, I may have some personal issue, issues, of course, we all do in life. Uh, could be with maybe one of my family members, maybe, maybe not. But uh, <laughs> we all will find ways to figure this out, right? I mean, we, I always have and I feel it uh, as well, you know. Uh, but complaining would not, uh, it's not going to solve problems you know complaining sometimes make matters worse <laughs> you got to take the matter into your hands and do what you have to do and uh, make the decisions to correct whatever the situation may be all right because that's nature that's life look at it you know? that's it So am I stranded here in Lisbon? Am I? Tell me. Am I stranded in nature? In this beautiful place? Am I? Should I run away? Or should I stay? You tell me. It's a decision I have to make. Okay? Take care. Bye. <laughs> oh, boy.